Optics University. Step 1. Preparing. First, we're going to decide what we're going to examine with our microscope. You may have prepared a slide that looks like this, or you may want to prepare one of your own. If you prepare your own slide, you're going to take a blank slide, a cover slip, and then you're going to take a very small specimen and place it on the center right here. Then on top of your specimen, you're going to put a little droplet of water and then put your cover slip down like this. Once that dries, you can then use the slide in the microscope. If it's a wet specimen, use immediately. Step 2. Light. We're going to set up and turn on our light source or illumination. First, make sure the microscope is plugged in and turn on the power button. That will turn on the light source. Adjust the intensity. I'm going to start with the highest intensity. So find your light intensity knob and turn it all the way to the maximum. This will make it the brightest. Now we're going to look at the iris, also known as the iris diaphragm. This controls how much light is getting to your sample. The most light is over here when the iris is completely open, and this is when it's closed down all the way. When we start, we want it at the setting where it's fully open, and this should be the brightest light. Step 3. Setup. If your eyepieces aren't already installed, you can simply install them by placing them into the draw tubes here. If you have a binocular type, then you insert both of them like this. You can adjust the distance between these two for your eyes by rotating the two tubes together. And you can use the diopter knob to adjust the focus balance between the two tubes. Once that's set up, you're going to want to install your slide into the slide clip like this. Next, you're going to adjust and center your slide using the stage. When using the mechanical stage, there's two knobs down here to move it up or down, left or right. You want to move it to where the light is centered right on the part of the specimen that you want to look at. Step four, focusing. Now that our specimen is centered, we want to make sure we start with the lowest objective here. Now we're going to start focusing. When you first look into the microscope, you're going to see a defocused image. And that's fine. There's a coarse adjustment here, and a fine adjustment here. These are both coaxial, which basically means you can turn one and the other one turns, which is really convenient. You want to adjust the coarse knob first, and then if you need to, do a micro adjustment. When you look into the microscope now, you should see it in focus. Just be careful when you're turning the coarse and fine knobs not to adjust the mechanical stage. You want to make sure you use the ones back here, which are the coarse and the fine focus. Step 5. Zoom. To calculate the magnification, you can multiply the power of the objective by the magnification of the eyepiece to get the total magnification. If we want to continue zooming, we're going to rotate the objective towards the next power. So we're at 10 power now. You only need to refocus a little bit to get in focus at each power. You want to make sure you don't overfocus and crash into the slide when you get to the top one. The maximum is usually 100 power, and it can be an oil immersion objective. What that means is you need a special oil to put down on the slide to be able for this to work properly. You can also get to a higher magnification by switching up the eyepieces. This one comes with 16 power, and that will get you up to a maximum of 1600 power. <laughs> 